Okay, so we've got one mine moving. Let's just add a couple more. So, um, this is just going to be a bit of a copy-paste job. Now, here's where we should talk about, um, well, partly what's covered in this video and, and what isn't. And so, to make things a little bit easier for a first video, um, I decided to leave out what are called tables, or often in other languages called arrays, which allow you to create groups of objects. And um, often what you do, like if you're creating a bunch of enemies like this, rather than doing it this way, where you basically just end up with a whole lot of repeated code, incidentally, you can probably see what I'm doing, I'm just changing the numbers here for the difference, so because we're going to have three of them. So rather than doing it this way, in a more well, most, as you get better, you'll end up probably doing what's called enemy spawning, where you actually sort of don't have, like here we've got three mines that we just recycle over and over, but generally you want to create them like dynamically on the fly and add them to what's called an array, which is a group of objects, like a group of variables, and control them that way. But it is a bit more complicated, so for our first game, thought we'll just leave it, do it this way. Um, so we're gonna, we've got two and three, so now all we need to do is come down to the enter scene and create event enter frame event listeners for two and three. When you do it the way, like the other way, like using arrays and um, enemy spawning, you don't have to do all this repeated code. You do have to use things like loops though, like for loops or while loops, which are a little bit trickier and I decided to leave out of this, so... Okay, um, let's see what we got, yeah, yeah, okay, so, they're, um, there they are, all three of them, so, so they're moving around, and, um, all we need to do now is the collision between the jet and the, uh, the mines, so, to do that, um, what we're going to do is, as soon as they do collide, um, we're just going to go basically to the the restart screen. Okay. Um, so let's actually the restart screen as it stands at the moment is just empty. So I'm going to go to the start screen, grab everything, copy it, and go to the restart.lua file, paste it in. Okay. Save that. Because um, a lot of it's going to be the same. We're going to have a graphic called Restart, which has like got a red background. Let's check that's the name. Uh, yep, yeah, Restart.png. Okay, um, we'll leave the city there. We're going to have a, like a Restart button. It's basically going to do the same thing in a lot of ways, though. Um, so we'll just leave that for now. Okay, so let's actually do the collision. Now, to do this, um, we're going to need a... Um, a function for it. So let's just set up the function to begin with. And it's going to be a special type of um, event, this one, that we haven't seen yet. Um, so hang on, let's go to our game.lua file. And in the end of theme, we're going to have a um, an event, listener, um, and it's going to be a collision one. So I'm going to copy that and then place it down the bottom here. It doesn't really matter where which order you put these in. Um, okay, it's going to be a collision event, and let's just call a function called, um, I don't know, on collision. Okay, so, um, now we need to write that function, so we'll come up above here, above enter scene, and just beneath the touch screen function, and I'm going to say function on collision. And um just wondering which um I will just pass in the event to end. And um okay, so here what we're gonna say is if uh we'll say if jed dot um if event so it's got a phase as well. If event dot phase equals began, then um, well, let's just see if we can get something here. Okay, I haven't used this in a little while, so let's just try print 
collide. Okay, let's see if we're going to get anything there. So, um, hang on, I'll get the jet. I missed it then. Um, restart this. Start. Okay, get our jet to try and collide with one of them. Okay, so we should hopefully, from our collide event, see a few collide messages. Let's see. Yep, we're getting them, so it's got collide. Um, okay, so that's good. Uh, let's then say... Um, well, here, in fact, I think we can just say we'll go to, let's do our, uh, we'll go to the restart screen, let's just try that. So I'm going to come to the start screen, and just for a copy and paste, I'm going to grab this, okay, come back to game.lua, and then uh, we're inside the on collision function, paste that in, we want to go to restart, okay, let's try this. Hey, not too bad. Okay, and then we're coming back. Alright, we've got a few issues here, obviously. Um, memory not clearing itself, which we'll get to. Uh, that's what all those exit and sort of... Um, destroy scene stuff we can use. So, But that's okay, it's kind of working. We've got our collision happening. Alright, so... Um, let's, uh, we'll leave it there for that one. We'll just restart it. And we can see it again. So, um, we've got... At least our, you know, it's not exploding or anything, uh, but it's it's getting there. And now, uh, in the next video, we'll look at um, setting up storyboard a bit better, so we're clearing the memory and we can restart again properly. And then, pretty much done. Then we just need to add a few animation things, and we're done. So great.